the laws of refraction. The two laws of refraction are 1. The incident ray, the refracted ray, and the normal, all at the point of incidence, all lie in the same plane or same flat surface. 2. The ratio of the sine of the angle of incidence to the ratio to the sine of the angle of refraction is a constant and this is known as a snail's law we'll look at this later snail's law okay earlier we have seen the ray diagram and the corresponding angles so if we have the first medium with refractive index n1 second medium refractive index n2 regardless of which is higher or lower we have angle of incidence theta 1 angle of refraction theta 2 these four variables are related by this equation known as Snell's law okay, so notice that one side of the equation represents the first medium and the other side represents the variables in the second medium from Snell's law we can look at a very special case for a light ray that travels from vacuum or air into a medium okay so vacuum or air the refractive index n1 will be 1 and angle is theta 1 the second medium n2 We'll just call it N, right? And instead of writing theta 1 and theta 2, we'll write angle I for theta 1, angle of incidence, and theta 2 is R, angle of refraction. Okay, with all this, write uh, values N1, N2, theta 1 is i, theta 2 is r, we have substitute this into Snell's law. We end up with a relationship between i, r, and n. And simplifying, we have this. Sin i over sin r is equal to n, the constant, which we know as the refractive index of the second medium. And this is what we have given the second law of refraction.